Here's why I'm not suggesting Pixel 7 Pro anymore. Look, I have made number of videos on Pixel 7 Pro and its amazing features. But after extensively using the competition, this had made me realize that Pixel 7 Pro comes with some major flaws. What I mean by major flaws is that Pixel 7 Pro's strength is also its weakness. This basically means Pixel 7 Pro's camera is too unstable for me to recommend to anyone. Let's start with what's not disappointing. That is the rear cameras. Pixel 7 Pro features triple rear camera modules, a 12 megapixel ultra wide module with autofocus for macro mode photos, a 50 megapixel main module that by default shoots at 12.5 megapixel. Plus the center portion of this 50 megapixel main module can be used for 2x hybrid optical zoom photos. Now to complete the camera setup, 7 Pro comes with a 5x 12 megapixel zoom module. And the rear cameras deliver. Pixel photos are great in terms of of colors, great with contrast, with controlled over sharpening, with superb dynamic range. But where is the problem? Well, let's start with the portrait mode. Pixel 7 Pro applies a 1.5x zoom for no real reason. It is just an unnecessary crop, plus it adds too much over sharpening in the portrait mode photos. And there are no details and the subject separation is just bad. Now this made me appreciate the stability of iPhone 14 Pro's camera setup. Now in difficult conditions, 14 Pro may not be able to go toe to toe with Pixel 7 Pro, but in most conditions, it comes really, really close. Plus while using portrait mode, 14 Pro makes it a whitewash. Now switching to video on the Pixel 7 Pro just amplifies that how unstable the camera on Pixel 7 Pro is. The videos on Pixel 7 Pro are complete hit and miss. Sometimes it hits and sometimes it completely misses. Now if you switch to the selfie camera on the Pixel 7 Pro, you again see the unstability in cameras. Pixel 7 Pro features a 10 megapixel selfie module with 4K60 and it's pointless because it comes with fixed focus. And this is unfixable because it's an hardware issue. That's why 4K 60, 4K 30 HDR videos on Pixel 7 Pro from the front facing camera just don't make sense because your face is gonna be blurry. I mean, you would look like you are out of focus because you are out of focus. Can you believe the cinematic video of the iPhone 14 Pro from the front facing module in 24 frames per second is better than the full HD video of Pixel 7 Pro from the main module. Now I have started using front facing camera on smartphones more and more. I shoot a lot of my YouTube videos using the front facing camera of 15 Pro Max in ProRes. This stuff, I could never do it with Pixel 7 Pro. This is the reason I'm not suggesting you Pixel 7 Pro. The front facing camera, the portrait mode, the video quality, it's just the unstability. Whereas something like the iPhone 14 Pro is stable, it may not be able to go toe to toe with the Pixel 7 Pro in regular day to day photos or night mode photos, but in portrait mode, in video mode, in cinematic mode, in action mode, in front facing camera, in front facing videos, iPhone 14 Pro is more consistent and a bit more stable.